Hey, welcome to Broken World Entertainment. Sexism in gaming. The three little words that have destroyed a business. Oh yes. Frosk. The infamous Frosk at G4 TV. Those three little words have destroyed G4. The relaunched G4. That ended up yesterday, or the, sorry, on the 14th, so two days ago, firing up to 30 employees because this company is tanking. Why is it tanking? It's tanking because this dumb bint sat there and in the middle of discussing Red Redemption, <laughs> or Red Dead Redemption, before the hate comes in. It's called this. Sat there and just took the whole conversation into sexism in gaming. Went on to talk absolute horseshit. And in the end, ended up telling viewers, potential viewers and returning viewers not to watch. <laughs> because she's not as bangable as the previous hosts. Oh yes. That was her argument, and the best part about her argument was the idiots all sitting around her, all clapping like seals. Particularly the one dude, the black guy on her, her left, our right, watching the screen, who when she started talking about it, he started going, talk to them, Frost. And then it, it's weird, it's weird, when she says, you know, you talking about jerking off to the other hosts it's not a comedy he's like it's weird and then people looked at his channel and what a hypocrite because he was talking on his channel about the things he does to women and that he's always managed to convince a woman to swallow oh yeah it's weird talk to him frosk huh? so g4 host frosk posts tone deaf meme celebrating her continued employment after network hit with massive layoffs. Oh yes, it gets worse for this dumb bint. So, in a stunning display of tone deafness, particularly from someone whose own actions played a significant role in getting here, G4 host Indiana Frost Black responded to the network's recently announced sweeping staff cuts by sharing a meme celebrating the fact that she herself did not face the chopping block. This, by the way, comes from Bounding Into Comics. So, as per three sources familiar with the business, who spoke to Kotaku, another trash website, they're just woke craziness over there. At least somewhere between 20 and 30 staff members were laid off at G4 TV on the 14th of September. <laughs> Wait till you hear how this went down. These staff cuts reportedly took the affected by complete surprise with many even showing up to set with the understanding that they would be working as normal only to be met with both the news that their respective programs had been cancelled and one-on-one -on -one layoff discussions with the network's HR staff. These people showed up to work for Christ's sake and were told, oh, uh, you're being future endeavoured. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So though details regarding the exact extent of these layoffs are currently unclear, those who were let go are supposedly set to receive anywhere between 16 weeks and 6 months of servants based on their tenure with Comcast, G4's parent company. Comcast is owned by NBC Universal. for anyone who doesn't quite know that. According to said sources, the network has been in rough financial shape for quite some time, with managers having been sadly, or saddled, sorry, with the honour of looking for any and all ways the network could reduce their costs, including letting go of staff. 
And of course, three little words didn't help that, did it? Curiously, these cuts come on the heels of the network announcing a new slate of additional programming, including an X-Play hosted The Office style parody of God of War titled God of Work. Interesting about X-Play. So G4 absolutely started to bomb after Frost's sexism in gaming rant. The numbers were getting so bad, they decided we need to flip the script here. So they took G4 TV, which was on network television, I do believe, as well as YouTube. They took that and stuck it on Twitch. The name of it. And they took X-Play from Twitch off and put it on the network. So they took the more popular X-Play's name and it was only the name they took and swapped them over so they would try and convince the X-Play viewers to go and watch, keep watching X-Play. Little did they know it was actually G4 that they were tuning into and it didn't help. It still didn't work. By the way, what was funny is after the whole Frost grant, their live viewers absolutely crashed. And I talk about crashed. So Friday Night Tights over on Nerd Relic's channel. You should check that out if you haven't. They start watching live while doing it live on Friday nights. <laughs> As from Hill vs. Babyface would pull up G4's live stream that was happening at the same time. FNT was pulling in like upwards to 10,000 views. G4 weren't even hitting 2,000. Imagine that. That's how bad they went. And they had all this backing, big sets, everything. <laughs> and they couldn't even keep up with Friday Night Tights. Just goes to show. And that was only from the time Frost sat there and had her rant. So, uh, the thing continues anyway, the article. To this end, one insider who spoke to Kotaku, bleh, I truly cannot imagine the company continuing to produce our slate of content without the people we lost today. Staff are also said to have been working without a coherent sense of direction, a frustrating confusion which supposedly erupted when now former G4 president Russell Arons, who herself abandoned ship earlier this year, she didn't just abandon ship, she just quit outright and went to work with EA, I believe, admitted that the network was facing financial hardship and, in an attempt to right the ship, set goals for the upcoming year which were widely considered to be completely unfeasible. Uh, notable, not only did Arons leave the network a little under the year after she accepted her position as president, but her exit came just roughly five months after the similarly voluntary departure of G4 senior president Blair Herder. Blair Herder was one of the people who absolutely 100% backed Frost after that rant and said, you yeah, prove her right if you stop watching our channel and if you criticize her and stuff. Probably about a month, maybe two after that, he quit. And he didn't just quit G4. He quit G4 and left the States. He moved to Europe to work for EA Sports. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So, and then, then there was just this tyrant of managers quitting all the time. So taking to Twitter the day after these cuts were divulged to the public, Frost, whose infamous sexism in gaming rant will undoubtedly be cited as a major factor in the network struggles, responded to the news 
by sharing a meme which featured a lizard with a crown, the deal with it glasses, a giant, and bold text reading, I survived. Yeah. What a dumb, horrible bitch this fucker is. She literally is just this toxic poison that goes into these companies. She was fired from EA. Because she sat in there and she just started saying stupid shit in there as well. About female representation in gaming and all that. And she just started criticising the companies and everything. Why did she get criticised at G4 by the way? That led to the whole sexism in gaming. Because she sat there... And talked about devs of games and upcoming games and got every single fact that she was talking about wrong. Every single one of them that she spoke of, she got wrong. And she got called out on it. Did she apologise and say, sorry, that was my bad, I made a mistake, here's the actual thing? No. No, instead she waited till they were in the middle of a live stream talking about Red Dead Redemption when she decided to look at the camera and go sexism in gaming and then just went on this big long spiel where she also exposed G4 for not actually doing the research that's right these people are meant to play the games and review the games and she let it slip that there is a team of people playing the games and writing the reviews for them and then they just put in their bit of input into it. <laughs> oh my god. And then she seems to be obsessed that nobody wants to bang her. You are just a horrible bitch. Like, why would anyone want to touch you? She is just this evil poison that just consumes and destroys. And this tweet she put out is proof of that the fact that up to 30 people that we know of have lost their jobs lost their livelihood and this dumb bint goes on twitter and goes well guess what fuck you employees because i survived <sighs> oh by the way her whole sex and gaming rant yeah they've blocked it on youtube you can't look up it anymore on YouTube. And they've deleted it off of Twitter. And all the supporting messages from all the staff that were there. Yeah, they were deleted as well. Isn't that interesting? So just how much do they stand with her? My God, what poison this woman is. Three little words out of this dumb bin's mouth has brought down a company fantastic <laughs> all right i'll leave it there for this one cheers catch you in the next one